Who's ready for some Minecraft? I sure know I am. Hello you awesome people out there, this is Ulta PJ, and welcome back to some more epic Minecraft gaming content. I'm gonna kill these chicken real quick. Yeah, fuck you chicken. Uh, in the last one, we actually built our first house. Which is probably going to be our permanent one, we're just gonna keep like adding on to it and everything. But we built our first house, and you know, she's, she's pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, I made a slight improvement off camera, so I actually got a suggestion. Uh, I post my videos on Reddit to um, advertise them, right, by the way. Uh, I got a suggestion from somebody that I should actually, like, open this area up like, and put rafters, right? And that was actually my initial goal. So I'm actually going to do what I initially set out to do, and I'm going to change this entire roof, right? I'm going to change it to be all just regular wood, not planks. And you can't get me, asshole. I don't know why you're trying. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna burn, bitch. Burn. And so, oh god, Enderman, <laughs> stop freaking out over there. So I'm going to change all of this to regular wood. And then I also have other plans to do today for the house renovations, because today is also just going to be another episode working on the house. I'm going to build the balcony that I wanted. And that's going to hang from here. One second, let me just like kind of crouch. It's going to hang from here all the way over and then go down like into the water. Uh, it's going to look really cool. It's going to be a nice little pretty area. Go out and look at the sunset because the sun rises over here and it actually sets over there. I just found that out. And so that's going to be really awesome looking. And I fucking forgot I planted a uh, sapling over there. Wow, that is kind of weird. <laughs> so yeah, we have not too eventful, quote-unquote, of an episode today, but it will change how our house looks entirely in the future. And I feel like it's going to be really cool, so if you'll excuse me, I got a roof to finish. Alright, the roof has been destroyed, the initial one at least, this is what I'm saying. And I'm going to start work on our actual uh, spruce log roof. And oh my god, I could have fell off the entire cliff of that. That would have been bad. <laughs> so I'm trying to determine how I want to do this. I kind of think I want to... I want to have an overhang for sure. And also, shields are so annoying. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> for sure I want to do that. I want it to, like, hang off a little bit, you know. Uh, it would look really nice. And I'm hoping that I will have enough uh, logs. Because I am I would like to say I'm pretty stacked on logs right now. But I still don't think I'm going to have enough. Which is unfortunate. But we're going to try. We're going to try. <laughs> okay, so while Old Delta decides to do the very, very tedious task of building this really weird roof thing... I want to talk about a few things, including apologizing for being gone for like a week. I know that was kind of a dick mood to just do all of a sudden out of nowhere. So basically, the last week where I should have been uploading videos, um, the week before that when stuff was going up, it was very stressful for me. I had a lot of school stuff going on, a lot of practice for final exams and everything coming up, including the State of Texas Assessment of Academic Readiness or STAR for my history stuff. Um, and then, also, every fish in my fish tank that I introduced in my, uh, setup tour, yeah, they're all dead, including ones that I got afterwards. So, essentially, all the mollies that I had in there, they kept breeding, right? And over time, I wasn't able to kill off all the babies. I wasn't able to, like, fast and fastly enough, quickly enough, whatever, scoop the babies out and put them in my dad's fish tank. And I used to have a, a bike here, a dinosaur bike here, dinosaur palma seal, whatever you want to call it. I used to have one of those, and it actually ate them, but unfortunately, due to complications with the wound on its tail, it, um, yeah, it, it died. So, the babies were free to keep being bred and roam, and I just couldn't get them out fast enough before they started dying themselves. And the more and more fish died, the more and more ammonia that came in, the more ammonia that came in, the more fish died, etc, etc. So, essentially, my fish tank became... A looping infinite ammonia death trap 
every fish that went in there would die, and then after dying, they'd produce more ammonia, which would kill the fish that were added later. I recently lost a brand new beta fish and algae eater, and I didn't know what the issue was until right before the beta passed, unfortunately. My water change that I did before he left, um, it, it just didn't help. It was already a bit too late, same with the algae eater, so, uh, rest in peace, Raspberry the Beta Fish. You were really pretty, and it's very unfortunate that you had to go the way you did. Same with you, algae eater. I'm now on my third algae eater. Um, hopefully this one's good. I, I'm hoping my tank's good, but I got some new fish for there, don't worry. Uh, they all seem to be doing quite well. They don't show any signs of, like, stress or, uh, ill health, anything like that. I have a new algae eater, two... Um, I forgot what type of Garami they are, but two Garamis and, um, a Clown Placo, and because, uh, the Clown Placos don't get that big, but I want something other than the Algae Eater, and so they all seem to be doing well. Hopefully, I'll get more updates to you soon about how they're doing, but, uh, like, basically, the fish tank was a big part of why I was, uh, very upset, and then also... I've been trying to get back into the workforce, um, I applied at my local game store, it's like a GameStop, but it's like a lot smaller of a brand and stuff, um, I thought it was only in Texas at first actually, but it's actually all around the US, just uh, very few stores, uh, they weren't exactly like hiring, uh, my dad thought they were, so I filled out an application and everything, but they took a copy of my resume and my application anyways, and they said they'll give me a call if they start hiring again, so that's really cool. Uh, hopefully I can get the job, and also I've been starting my driving course stuff. I'm learning more how to drive so I can get my permit and my license and not my ID kind of stuff, all that, so I can get that out of the way, and that's all been stacked on my plate in a singular week, which is, whew, yeah, it's, it's a bit intense, honestly, not gonna lie, but I decided I needed to take like a week of a break from YouTube on top of that to just kind of like... Ooh, saw myself. It's just been very, very hectic, and I hope you guys can forgive me. Uh, I I'm, I'm really sorry. I should have said some sort of notice, but uh, there's more big news about the channel that I want to get in a vlog soon, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's get back into the actual video. <sighs> Holy shit, that was tedious. Okay, so I have the entire new roof done. Um, as you can see, I changed the entire thing to a spruce that overhangs a little bit, which I think is really cool. And I decided to start using some peeled uh, bark wood, which I keep forgetting is actually a thing in Minecraft now. And I feel like it looks really cool because I wanted to have this interior and stuff, you know. But I thought it looked a bit weird when I had it as the planks. I don't know, maybe it was just me. But I'm thinking that looks pretty nice. Honestly, I kind of want to make all of the walls peeled bark because that looks like actual realistic walls. But speaking of the interior, I added the rafters. And unfortunately, I am one block off from being perfectly level. Um, so I had to put a really big one in the middle. And then I have the torches up here so the lighting doesn't look as weird. There's no random torches just like sticking out anywhere. And I feel like this is actually exactly what I envisioned other than uh, this being together. And so thank you to the person in the uh, comments of Reddit that actually told me to act, like try it. Uh, that was really cool. All right, so now I'm gonna actually start the balcony. And so I, oh my God, you scared me. By the way, when I was giving that rant and uh, recording it separately, this Enderman actually teleported into the house and I had to like freak out and cut off the fucking recording. It was really hilarious. But I'm trying to envision what I exactly want in the balcony. I don't want to just be like, oh yeah, I'm going to make a balcony. And then like, you know, oh my god, go away. And then like, you know, oh, actually, I feel like this is a huge mistake and I feel stupid. So I think I want it to be... Hmm. Uh, let me go check the interior. I want to start it off from the inside of the house. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight. I'll do four. I'll make it a four block uh, wide balcony. So I gotta cut out this part right here. Okay, coolio. And I'm actually going to, um, I'm gonna mark this here, mark 
uh, this here because I want this to just be like a double door kind of thing that leads out to a four block balcony and will you please leave me alone oh god I thought I looked him in the eye there for a second I started to panic okay so oh yeah I set that up manually right there so this is gonna be a bit awkward but okay so I'm gonna start well after you know I finish building or, or you know after I make a new fucking axe because this one's bound to snap any second but I'm going to extend this a couple of blocks there we go five should be good hmm definitely needs to be a block wider Okay, I know what you're thinking. I only said one more block out and that it should only be five out, but you know, when duty calls, duty calls. I feel like this is definitely an acceptable length for a balcony. Uh, might be actually a bit too big, but I will be adding fences along the edges of it as well, you know, just so I don't fall off and so nothing undesirable comes over. I might actually add a little gazebo area too like over the side here, but I have to make another roof and everything, so I'll probably save that for later. But for now, I'm going to make my fences, and I'm going to put them around the balcony, just so I don't fall off. <laughs> Gates achieved! Or fences, I didn't make any gates. Shut up, okay? It's my channel, I say what I want. So we actually have the extension part done now, and that looks pretty neat, not gonna lie, but I actually want to add some really, really cool support beams that go like down into the water or uh is it gonna hit the water i don't know i wanted to hit the water but uh the water i don't think is close enough i might actually bring this in a little bit you know <laughs> cut into my mountain some more but for now i'm just gonna stick with the support beams hopefully my spruce trees have grown enough so i don't have to go all the way over to either side just to you know get spruce okay you can't tell me that doesn't look dope as fuck and time for the doors Ta-da! A fully functioning, beautiful balcony. Oh, the sun's right above me. That's really weird. Okay, yeah, now we have a really cool balcony that we can go out to and rest at. I might add, you know, a little fancy table here. I mean, I know it doesn't matter in Minecraft, but, you know, a nice little table, a chair. Just sit here and watch the sunset. Does the minecart thing still work where you push a piston, like, a, you push a minecart with a piston into a block and you can, like, sit in it? And so you can, like, make stairs, actual chairs... I don't know, I remember doing that when I built a Five Nights at Freddy's map when I was a kid. And now we can properly set up our stuff. And we're fully set up until I start building the bedrooms and storage rooms, and I even brought my chest in over here. Nice and organized. See, isn't this nice? Just you, me, and the sunset. How was your day? Is your day been well? I'm happy to hear that. It's been a great Saturday for me, honestly. I went and I got new fish. I uh, started uh, more driving course stuff. Got to like 10% completed of the permit thing. It's it's really slow. My staring is uncomfortable, isn't it? I can see into your soul! Alright, well, I'm gonna have to leave the video here. I've been recording for over an hour and a half, and it is very painful to know that this is gonna turn out to be, like, ten minutes or less. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the additions we've added to our house. Go away, Mr. Creeper. Uh, we added the balcony, we added some really cool support beams for said balcony, we changed the entire roof, added the rafters, finally brought our chest in, and I feel like we're slowly getting along to a very, very nice place of living for our new utopia. A newtopia, if you will. And I think in the next one, I want to add a separate room, maybe do some more landscaping back there to start making the house a bit deeper. And then I also have a small secret surprise little plan 
For right over here, where there is a zombie, I'm going to kick his teeth in. And thankfully, this isn't like Java Minecraft, where you uh, do less damage if you don't let the sword fill up. Because I've noted that that is probably the, my least favorite thing about Java. But I started clearing out a little area over here. I'm going to start spreading to the right. And you guys will get to see what I'm going to do in the next video. But for now, that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, please be sure to hit the like button as helps put this video and the channel into the YouTube recommended. And if you like this content and you want to see more like it, like the rest of my Minecraft Newtopia series, perhaps consider subscribing because we're on our way to 500 subscribers. Well, once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Delta PJ, signing off.